In Doom Eternal, you're going to squelch into the space boots of the Slayer. A man of zero words, he's the kind of Doom guy who communicates in one of two ways. Angry weapon cocks and the staccato delivery of gunishment. This dude pumps out more heavy metal than Mick Gordon's Made for Jim soundtrack. That said, this demon Terminator wasn't invincible in Doom 2016 and he's just as mortally impaired in the sequel. Basically, if you want to live, you need more than one-ups and a shiv, you need to really knuckle down on a bunch of new and enhanced mechanics. These are the six things you need to know about Doom Eternal. Earth itself has been overrun by Hellspawn, and that's not the only big change. Compared to the last outing, the environments in Doom Eternal are no longer an orgy of ordnance just lying around. If you ever find yourself asking, who the hell do I have to glory kill to get some health around here? Well, the answer is everybody. And you'll be happy to know that Doom Slayer hails from the older brother school of bullying. This guy gets a special kick out of making Satan's finest self-harm. And even self-arm. Stop punching yourself. Stop punching yourself. Stop shooting yourself. Stop exploding yourself. Think of every enemy as a chest full of health. You need only forcefully open that chest to scoop out the free life inside. Likewise, when your boomstick is low, you can score cut-rate ammunition with chainsaw kills. And making demons extra infernal with a flamer will cook up zombie a la armor. Grenades were optional equipment in Doom 2016. However, in Eternal, they're a constant angel on your shoulder. Literally. Popping out an explosive pineapple is always an option if the replenishing meter in the bottom right of your screen is full. And speaking of cooldowns, in no time at all you'll be given an ice grenade variant. It's great for creating breathing space in a fight, and it has its own meter that's separate from your regular grenade. So be sure to switch on the fly. You should also take note of the blood punch meter that lives down there as well, because once you've banked three glory kills it's going to be time to reach out and touch somebody. Or even a few somebodies, because a successful blood punch hooks out a cone of damage that'll turn small to mid demons into chunky kibbles. It seems insane to say it, but Doom Eternal is an even faster game than its predecessor. You really need to open your eye to the usefulness of the new double dash mechanic, because it's like a get out of jaws free card. Usable in any direction on the ground or in the air, it's bound by a cooldown meter that's split into two dash segments. So look before you leap, or make sure there's a dash refill pickup floating where you're going. Expect to be more vertical than usual in combat and in the noticeably increased jumpy jumpy and puzzle sections. Id's level designers really want to do you in this time. We're talking extreme hot springs, electro limbo, flaming skipping ropes, goo pools that act like velcro, and so many tentacles. Along with a slew of new shooters to use, it has basically doubled the demon count over Doom 2016 just to keep you on your toes. Sure, there are some old friends bearing familiar gifts, because you should always expect an imp position in any Doom, but every returning Hellspawn has been reinvented, both visually and in terms of fiendish wrong-footing behavior. What you really need to fear in Eternal are some of Satan's classic era rehires, like pain elementals, arachnotrons, and an arch vial or two. You're also going to be ice cream for some completely unknown freaks. Charming new critters like gargoyles, whiplash, marauders, and the doom hunter, and probably at least one skyscraper-sized titan. Uh, take that. Every firefight in Doom Eternal is a combat puzzle, a bullet ballet that goes easier if you know what your attitude adjusters can really do. There are 10 guns that we know of right now and most come with a duet of highly upgradable weapon mods. By targeting specific enemy weak points, these secondary fire modes can halve the time it takes to drop mid-tier annoyances. Exploit the kryptonites of pressure tactic demons especially, or they'll dog you harder than Cerberus. Cry because this mythical weapon is just beyond your fingertips, locked away in the Slayer's kick-ass fortress of solitude, with a ton of cool easter eggs. Shed a tear because you'll need to complete a series of six insanely difficult Slayer gates to earn the keys to acquire this weapon. Make your eyes rain further because if you have delusions of defeating Doom Eternal on Nightmare, or the save file deleting Ultra Nightmare, you have a ton of Unmaker-related challenges ahead of you. 
Like an imp nursing a fireball with your name on it, Doom Eternal is lurking just around the corner. It launches on March 20th, and for all your slaying needs, keep your reticle aimed right here on IGN.